Hello friends, 336 days of war. Starting from Eastern War Zone. In Bakhmut area, it is learned that Ukrainian forces are blowing railway bridges and other infrastructure in northern city. While it is still unconfirmed that the foreign mercenaries are leaving certain areas of Bakhmut. More on Bakhmut front. From South, Russian forces have advanced towards Krasny and Chasovyar, while in North, battle is on from Krasnaya, Gora, and Paraskovi Vevka. Fight continues in South, Southeast, Northeast quarter of the city. As per ISW, the Russian forces have gained marginal territory on Bakhmut. On the western side, the road linking Bakhmut to Konstantinovka through Ivanovskoye or Krasnoye has come under Russian forces fire control. On other side, Russian forces have advanced both north and south on Pitgorodne and fight is continuing between Ivanivsky and Kishchivka. On other fronts of east, in Donetsk airport, north of it, Russian forces took over hills and have advanced towards Pervomaiskoye. The PMC Wagner, after taking over Krasnoye, have taken over dominant position north of Vodyanoye. And in Soledar direction, attack is on, on Razdolovka and Blagodarotnoye. Battle for Spornoye and Belgorovka is on. In north, the Russian forces continue their limited offensive in Swato, Crimea. In south of Crimea, they took over Prai Lance, a small establishment and surrounding forest areas, which is in southern Crimea, thus creating some buffer for Crimea, where Ukrainian forces are continuing their offensive in hope of capturing it. Coming to south on Zaporizhia front, there is a slow progress by the Russian forces and Ukrainian forces are able to hold on to Orekho and Guliapol. A few attempted offensive on Nieper towards Novaya Kakhovka, Kharson direction but retreated after heavy losses. The Russians are continuing their offensive in addition to Orekha Gulia Pol towards Valikaya Novusku and even Ugledar. They have launched a massive offensive on Ugledar and moving towards it. The details are yet to reach to us. If you are getting confused on the progress of the war in entire battle zones, which is more than 900 kilometers. Just understand that almost all the fronts are alive now and the Russians are concentrating in Donbass. It seems that they are adamant of taking over the entire Donbass before moving anywhere else. Now some gems from Zelensky. He has said that after Ukraine, Putin will go further. There will be no independent Baltic countries. Poland and Germany are next if we don't stop Putin. And he has further said that arming Ukraine is a big business opportunity. Well, he further said that Ukraine needs artillery, MLRS, armored vehicles, tanks, air defense, long range missiles and fighter jets. Germany has approved sending Leopard tanks to Ukraine, so would Norway, US and rest of the NATO. All the drama of not sending heavy arms and ammunition to Ukraine is over now. That is enough for the day, friends. Thank you.